The previous video showed how the wavelength lambda, which is the distance between crests, the frequency f, which is the number of waves per second, and the speed v, are all connected through the wave equation. v equals f lambda. Let's give it a test drive with a 2 Hz wave, which has a wavelength of 5 meters. What's its speed? Easy as pi. Just make f equal 2 Hz and lambda 5 meters and multiply them. The wave must be traveling at 10 meters per second. Let's double the frequency to 4 Hz, but keep the speed the same. What's the new wavelength? Piece of cake. Make f 4 Hz and keep the speed at 10 meters per second. Dividing both sides by 4 eliminates it from the right hand side, leaving lambda on its own. The new wavelength is 2.5 metres, half its previous length. Now let's try the wave equation on a sound wave. The animation shows how the vibrating source bunches up and spreads out the air molecules at different times. Sound waves need to have a frequency of at least 20 waves per second in order to be detected by our ears. But this one is slowed down to just a few hertz so we can follow it more easily with our eyes. Now let's try a sound wave with a frequency of 170 hertz and a wavelength of 2 meters. That means 170 sound waves are hitting your eardrums each second and are 2 meters apart. The sound tone is doing that to your ears right now. What's the speed of the wave? Too easy. We just make f 170 hertz and lambda 2 meters and multiply them. The sound waves are coming at you at the speed of 340 meters per second. That's way faster than a jet plane. Try this one. What's the speed of a radio wave which has a wavelength of 100 meters and a frequency of 3 million hertz? By the way, 3 million hertz can also be called 3 megahertz. Substitute 3 million hertz for f and 100 meters for lambda. The word substitute just means to give it the value of. Multiplying them gives a speed of 300 million meters per second. Or 
300,000 kilometres per second. Think about that. That's fast. It's so fast that radio waves can travel to the moon in one second. This would cause delays in a moon phone call, but not much. However, it takes radio waves 13 minutes to reach Mars. and an hour and 20 minutes to Saturn. That would be a seriously long call. Actually, we can't hear radio waves with our ears. Instead, we need them to be picked up by a radio antenna and convert them into sound waves, which our ears can hear. Radio waves, sound waves, water waves, light waves, and microwaves all obey the wave equation. We'll show this in more depth in the next video.